The strain on Arkansas's health care system during the COVID-19 crisis prompts Governor Asa Hutchinson to ask for expedited nursing licenses. As a result of legislation passed just last year, there's a group ready to step in. As Fox 24's Andrew Epperson explains, some people are fighting the pandemic on the front lines while also fighting to stay in the country. Carla Palma wears two hats. DACA recipient and nursing student. To be able to help others, not you know only taking care of them, but also making them feel comfortable and feeling that, that their needs are attended to. Much like the rest of the country, Arkansas faces a fatigued health care system as the number of positive COVID-19 cases grows. But after a bill passed last year, so does the number of DACA recipients who can swoop in to help. In my mind, I'm just going through, like, what all am I going to say? How am I going to say? Like, I don't want to mess up. These are important people. Here's Palma testifying to both chambers last summer, passionately working to get ink to paper. And just hearing their stories of dedication and resilience, I think, really resonated. It passed. I don't speak alone when I just say thank you so much for your dedication, your willingness to serve. Um, and, and take care of all of us. Thank you. Palma isn't quite old enough to get in the game herself just yet. I wish I would have been able to, you know, be out there. And there's a lot of respect that I have for all the nurses and doctors, um, me wanting to pursue a career in that. But she's encouraging folks in her situation to keep pushing, even though the Supreme Court will reevaluate DACA as soon as this summer. She says COVID-19 is the real threat, not people like her. If the uh, Supreme Court rules negatively against us, then we shouldn't, you know, give up and, you know, drop out of college or, you know, think that it's the end. Andrew Epperson, Fox 24 News.